<laughs> all right good morning y'all it's your girl lala aka lachelle aka shell aka michelle my bell and i am back with another product review so as you all know zuby has not yet come out with distinct zuby baby accessories as far as carriers and car seats and strollers and all that goes so for now we have to make do this particular creator consulted with Carrie, I believe that's how you say her name, the actual Zuby creator, and tried to come up with the most compatible, I guess, what would I say? Accessory that doesn't actually have Zuby scripts in it yet. So no, you can't call your baby to it like you do other Zuby furniture, but, 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 for role play sake and aesthetic sake, you can attach it with your baby so that it looks like <laughs> it works together. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all how I do it. I believe that there are actual instructions that come with the carrier when you buy it. But this is just my demo. This is how I've been doing all my baby accessories. So when I'm in church and things of that nature, people are like, hey, how do you get your ba your Zuby babies in car seats? Well, I'm about to show y'all how. And I'm going to send all y'all to this video next Sunday. So I purchased mine from inside the aphrodite store aphrodite is known for a lot of things definitely aesthetically pleasing role play type stuff so they do everything from furniture to fondue fountains and for people who don't know fondue fountains it's like cheese fountains i used to decorate all of my events with like aphrodite furniture because the detailing is immaculate and i love the functionality of it so when they came out with carriers of course i had to go check it out now you can buy the whole set on marketplace oh, not the page I was actually looking at <laughs> so you can buy the whole set on marketplace for $12.99 now this includes though this is the script one right so this is the one that you can use for um, it has actual poses and whatnot in it if you have Zuby babies only I recommend that you only get the deco the decoration version and it'll say deco on it that's only 2.99 in world right so this one is the scripted version the scripted version is 12.99 the regular one that you're just going to attach because remember these are not scripted for zuby babies they're scripted for like avatars and stuff like that but zuby has not yet came out with her compatible scripts yet so in the meantime, in between time, for the sake of role play, just go into the Aphrodite store in World and you can get the decor type for $2.99. Good morning to my viewer. So I already made a purchase. You can raise the box to open it. <laughs> Another way I did it, I literally just attached it. So look, this is how I did it in World. I added it. Boop. <laughs> and it works just like if I had rezzed it. But you can res it if you want to and just click it. Good morning, Amy. So here they are in their respective folders. I already have baby Ad, Ab, Lord, baby Ab, Abioye and baby Femi in my inbox, in my inventory. I cannot work today. <laughs> so all you're going to do, first and foremost, let me make it clear, you have to have a premium account. And the reason you have to have an SL premium account is because you want to be able to attach multiple things to the same spot. So let's, I'm going to do one with the snuggle seat. Since this is the lady one, I'm going to attach Femi to it. So you just right click the one. So they have a, a car seat that looks like a booster seat. And then they have the snuggle seat that looks like an actual carrier. So you right click attach to, and you go to avatar center. Okay. Somebody just sent me something. So you go to Avatar Center. So as you can see, this is just randomly sitting in the middle of me. And then you're just going to right click and go into edit mode. Hold on, y'all. I think I attached this to my screen. I in my life. <coughs> as I was. So right click. Attach to, not HUD. Attach to <laughs> Avatar Center. So now... Oh, this looks like it was when it was on me. You should be able to boop, edit it. So you just right click it, 
So you can right click the physical object itself or I'll show you another way. You can right click it from in the inventory. So once you remember to put it on you, you right click attach to and you're going to find the avatar center option. Now, say you got a bunch of stuff attached to your avatar. So when you try to right click and edit it in world, maybe something else gets caught up. No problem. Open your inventory, right click edit. So you can edit from both ways. And then you just use the edit mode to position it where you are. So in church, we typically sit in one spot and I would just attach the carrier just like I'm doing here. You adjust it. You can move it up, move it down, move it forward, move it backward. You can rotate it if you need to. And then I go in and I right click. I'm going to find, since it's the lady one, I'm going to find Femi. Right click her again, attach to avatar center. Oh, hi, baby. So what you have to do is go up to your top panel, because as you can see, it's simulating me holding her. And if you in church that just or just sitting anywhere that just looks weird. So you are going to go to avatar up on your screen, avatar help. Stop animations, right? And then I'm just going to sit back down. It, it depends on where you're sitting at for at church. All I have to do is change the actual seating sitting animation. But since this thing doesn't really have sitting animations, I have to stand up. So then you take and right click and edit your baby. Same concept when it came to editing the carrier, you can edit from inside your inventory as well. So I'm just going to rotate my baby down until she is centered right in the carrier now unfortunately for zuby babies it's hard to um have them in a different position they're automatically in this one i'm still working on trying to figure out how to just have them sitting when you attach them not not when um you res them but when you attach them when you res them is different so if you're just doing this for pictures then it's a lot easier but for example when i'm at church she, I have to attach them because they don't allow you to rest. So as you can see, I can leave her sitting right on the front of the seat if I want to. Or I rotate her. And what I normally do, if it's not a good way for me to... Ooh, where'd she go? I rotate her too far. If it's not a good place for me to have her feet, I'll just put like a stuffed animal in front of her to camouflage the fact that her feet are not positioned the way I need them to be. Right? With this being a carrier... You can just have her sitting in front or you can move her back. And I'm going to show y'all another trick that I use. Uh, so just like I attached everything else, I go in, right click her stuffed animal, attach to avatar center. This might already be positioned. No, it's not. Okay. Attach to avatar center. And then boom, now her legs are covered. Everybody just sees her little doggy. They don't see that her feet are crooked. <laughs> and you can position this however you want. So let me zoom y'all in so y'all can see the carrier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now I can move the doggy forward, forward, forward. So I use any baby carrier. I just really like Aphrodite. So when I saw that they came out with baby carriers, I was like, yep, going to get one. Period. And y'all, I bent this poor little stuffed dog up. Oh, I hate when I do that. <laughs> All right. Ignore that part, y'all. I just had to fix the doggy. So it just looks like my baby's in her carrier. Now, say I want to make her look sleek, maybe. I can roll her backwards with the rotate button. And it's just a matter of ed editing your baby to a position of your liking, however you want them to be sitting in their car seat or booster seat. So I got Femi sitting in the actual carrier. I'm going to attach 
I'll be Oye, aka Baby Abe, into the booster seat since they're a little bit bigger. And again, you can edit your stuffed animal however you want. I don't want to make this video too long. So now I'm going to attach the other one because they have this is supposed to be the lady version of it. So now I'm going to go to the regular one, which I'm assuming is supposed to be the more masculine one. But instead of attaching the carrier, aka the snuggle seat, I'm going to attach the actual car seat. So same concept, right click, attach to avatar center. I'm just going to move this little car seat, which is too freaking cute. This one is like a booster seat. For any RL parents, y'all know this is more like a booster seat. So you right click, attach, edit it however you want it. This will be us sitting in church right now. And then I'm going to attach baby Abe. So same thing. Right click. Attach to avatar center and then there he go with his shenanigans. So I've tried to like beat the automatic um, I've tried to beat the automatic Zuby animation whenever you attach your baby, but it's always the same every time. So I just be over it And that's why I started adding the stuffed animals because they always attach the same way like, I tried to hurry up and do the stop animation before it went to the holding position, but it does it anyway. So now I'm going to edit Baby A because he's floating somewhere. There he is. Hi, Baby A. So, yeah, when I say the holding animation, I'm talking about this position that the babies are in. I've tried so many times to, <laughs> to hit the stop animations button before the baby will switch to this position, but it still does it. Even if you hit the stop animation button early, it'll still go into the holding animation. So you got to deal with the crooked legs until Zuby either changes it, the automatic animation, or comes up with actual Zuby baby accessories. So we just going to position baby Abe just like we did baby Femi. Femi Nata. And now this was a little bit easier because it's a booster seat, right? So you could kind of sit him on the front. Or your baby on the front if you want. I'm going to rotate him backwards a little. If all else fails, like I said, I grab that stuffed animal real quick. Because it's hard to, to have the feet sit right because of the way the holding animation stops the baby. But, but, but. We are not going to lose hope, my dears. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's it. So you can have him sit forward or you can move him backward and again do like I do. Do the stuffed animal trick or any toy trick. You could do a diaper bag trick to where you look like it's a diaper bag sitting in his seat. Which I don't know why you want your baby to look like he's sitting behind a diaper bag. But just whatever. You may have a blanket that you put there. Especially if you're somebody who's a builder. So you could slide him back. And then I'm going to attach another stuffed animal. And that's how we sit in church y'all. I actually like this booster seat better, to be quite honest. He's not gonna start moving till I or start moving till I take him out of edit mode. And then I think I have Plum attached to Avatar Center. And then everything is just a matter of, and you're probably like, this is a lot of work. Well, if you want to role play, unfortunately, you got to do it. Like I said, Carrie hasn't came out. With her scripts yet for actual Zuby accessories. So for now, this is what we're doing, y'all. We improvise. And that's it. And as you can see, they're attached to me. So if I stand up, they're going to be on me. So if you're in an area that maybe you're not allowed to res anything, that's where this works better. Now, granted, you can just res it and put the babies in it. But it, again, if you're in an area where they don't allow you to res, then attach them to yourself. And now you got your babies out. They living their best lives. You can't do stuff like feed them and burp them and stuff. But they looking around. They're alert. Just like babies should be. And going about your business.
And y'all give me a second because I'm going to have to take a picture for the thumbnail or whatever. But that's it, y'all. Like, that's definitely the end of the tutorial. That's how I position my babies to where we can go out and about and look like we are on a family outing type deal. And again, you don't have to have res rights because you attaching them to yourself. Come on, y'all. Look for us so I can get a good picture. <laughs> Thank you about theirs. All right, y'all. Bye.